The Union Block building downtown was closed on Thursday by the city of Boise because they say the inside is too dangerous for its occupants. I'm your downtown neighborhood reporter, Brendan Jones, and the closure is going to impact multiple businesses and the sidewalk you see behind me. The city of Boise closed the Union Block building Thursday, saying it was unsafe for occupancy. Businesses like Mai Tai and Moons are now closed for the foreseeable future. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Jordan Lorton, the general manager of Fun Nouveau, was there when it happened. We saw some of the inspectors out here kind of pointing out the building, seeing what's going on, and we started to wonder what was happening uh, until the crew started showing up and blocking everything out. And then that's when we saw them start hanging up the signs and everything and then just kind of explaining that the, the building was no longer safe for occupancy. Lauren explained to me that Fun Nouveau is a part of the Fidelity building, not the Union Block building. So for them, it's business as usual. The orange barriers behind me are as close as you can get to the businesses now. On the entrances of the buildings, you can see signs that are calling the building dangerous, according to Boise Code. Boise Code specifies that to be dangerous, a building has to have parts on it that are likely to fail or collapse and injure a person. I reached out to the city for clarification, but haven't heard back yet. Moons and Mai Tai, two of the impacted businesses, have hired Taylor Law Offices for representation. I have reached out to the lawyers as well as the businesses, and I'm waiting to hear back. On Thursday, Moons posted on Instagram telling customers they would be closed. In the post, they said it was because the owner of the building, Ken Howell, has not done what is necessary to keep occupants safe. I called Park Lane, Ken Howell's business, for comment but have not received an answer. Back at Fun Nouveau, Lorton says working next to a building that has been deemed unsafe for occupants makes her a bit fearful. Honestly, it is a little bit scary for us just knowing that we are the direct contact across there. She says she's confident in the owner of her building, though. Um, just knowing that our safety is his number one priority and ensuring that the businesses here are, are able to continue working, uh, it makes us feel a lot better about what's going on with everything. This is a developing story and we'll keep you updated with any changes. I'm your downtown neighborhood reporter, Brendan Jones for Idaho News 6.